ora Aotearoa, I'm Philip Duncan with your weekly forecast and the forecast this week once again is looking warmer than average for a number of areas although we've got a wintry change later on in the south. Let's kick off with the animated wind map today we've put on the air pressure so you can see this low that is forming in the Tasman actually it came out of central Australia which doesn't happen too often. Subtropical winds right up from around the Fiji area are curving down and coming into it that's the reason why northern New Zealand is about to be even warmer than average as well and this big high out here over Tasmania is doing the opposite at the other end of the country it's pulling in a colder southerly so northerlies at the top southerlies at the bottom and that's what we're going to see reflected in the temperatures this week but in saying that even the south is leaning warmer than average, although only a little bit. Uh, most of the areas that are in red and gold, they are leaning a couple to several degrees above normal across your Monday afternoon. Only the far north is pretty much bang on average. Now overnight tonight, there is a chance of frost. We've got uh, light winds around the South Island and following a bit of a southerly flow, we'll be seeing frost through these inland areas and maybe just on the outer edges of what you can see there. But most of the North Island too mild for frosty weather and as we go into Tuesday afternoon again the temperatures are above normal for most places. The reason why it's not quite so much in this area there'll be a lot of cloud as that subtropical system moves through with periods of rain sliding down even into the dry Auckland areas so uh, that is good news but look the, the nation's much warmer than average so with the exception of this part of Waikato and right down here around Stewart Island most places lean warmer than average on Tuesday. This is the Tuesday setup. You can see that low with the subtropical portion coming down and the big high out to the east doing the same thing, pulling down an airflow from around Fiji. It's not quite coming into New Zealand, that Fiji airflow, it's just offshore, but gives you the understanding that it's all mild weather coming down and around that low. There's also a very fine line between where the rain falls and where it stops. Auckland Waikato region about the borderline for that. We are pretty sure the Hanua Ranges We'll get around 20 30 millimeters of rain which is great news for the water storage problems going on in Auckland. High pressure continues elsewhere that's the reason why we're seeing a slight risk of a frost through inland areas through the South Island. By Wednesday it is pretty settled still around the south but this low in the north gets all pulled apart stretched out with a, a couple of big centers to it that just spreads the energy and we end up with actually mostly dry weather in northern areas but the rain curves around and comes into the east so another burst of rain for you which will be very welcome things are just starting to dry out a little bit in those eastern regions now as we move through the week on Thursday there is a colder change on Thursday there's a southerly up on this side this will drop temperatures quite a bit around coastal parts in particular of Southland, Otago and Canterbury with this airflow coming from off the screen way down near Antarctica. Very little moisture though so it's a dry cold event. There might be a few snow flurries on the ranges but nothing much and a couple of showers up there to the north. And on Friday that high comes in so there could be frosts again but it's short lived because as that high drifts out to the east and it's quite a powerful high at 10 33 hectopascals but you've got this northerly flow coming down across the South Island straight after that cold southerly so it's short lived and in the north the easterlies come back with a few showers. And our final map is for the weekend as we go into Saturday you can see that high parked out here over the Chatham Islands we've got easterlies to the north with just one or two showers and a general northerly flow that develops around the country so once again mild weather starts to return. That's all from me. We'll update you again tomorrow with the latest.